I thought this outfit was the look and now I'm worried that that look might be middle-aged man who's about to go down the golf club but it's on now, we're gonna work with it. Hi everyone, my name is Karis and welcome back to my corner of the internet where I talk about books and other things that I enjoy. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about all the books that I want to read in April. If you've watched any of my last couple of monthly TBRs, you might know that I don't really like to set myself a really rigid TBR. What I like to do instead is pick a selection of books that I think I would like to get around to in the month, but ultimately, I'm completely flexible really. If I read these, then great. If I don't read them, then that fine as well. April is also my birthday month so I'm pretty sure I will come buy some books this month whether that be from gifts from my family or anybody else and also like I will definitely be buying myself some books. So there might be things that I don't own yet that do end up being in my wrap up towards the end of the month. In previous months I have taken part in a couple of readathons which has sort of guided my TBRs a little but this month I actually don't have any readathons that I'm planning on taking part in so I have completely free control over what I'm planning on reading with the exception of two things that I am reading for book clubs but like I've chosen to do the book clubs you know it's not like <laughs> I'm being held hostage to do them. That being said I will just get on with showing you the books that I would like to get around to this month. I've got eight things to talk about. Six of them are brand new I think I haven't featured them before and two of them are their regulars on my TBRs. I dread to even think how many times I've put them into videos now so if you've watched the last few you'll probably know what they are. I will save them till the end so I don't have to talk about them too much and I'll start out with the ones that I'm going to be reading for book clubs. So the first book is Love After Love by Ingrid Pers and I'm reading this one for the book club that's being hosted by Book Bar which is a new wine bar bookshop combo in London which I've seen a lot about on social media I follow them on Twitter and Instagram and it just looks like the absolute dream I cannot wait until I'm back at my flat so I can go into the city and head there meet up with some friends maybe, have a drink, go book shopping as well. It honestly just sounds incredible. As I said, I've been following Book Bar on social media ever since I first heard about them and I saw that they were advertising a new virtual book club that they're gonna begin hosting. And as I have been recently looking for a real life book club that I can join when I'm back in my flat and also life is back to some sense of normality, I thought I would give it a go because if it's gonna be something that they continue in person then it might be a really nice one to go to, to meet more fellow bookish people in a really cool environment. But obviously the first few at least are being hosted virtually and this is the very first one. This is April's book. The live show for it is actually happening on the 6th of April so I do need to get around to it. I had hopes that I might be able to squeeze it into the end of March but it's just not gonna happen. We're on the penultimate day of the month as I'm filming this and I still have other things that I need to finish off. So the start of April will have to do. I was really excited to see that this was the first book that had been chosen because I've heard really good things about it. I know Charlotte from Coiny Reads in particular recently really loved this book and it also won the Costa Prize last year as you can see on the sticker which I need to take, oh it's not, mm -hmm. I was gonna say that I need to take off but it's not a sticker, it's just there so that's nice. But yes it's won this award and people have really raved about it. All that I know about it is that it's about a family. I think it's like an intergenerational story and I think the family is from Trinidad but that's literally all I know so I'm quite excited to delve into this without knowing too much. The next book that I want to read in April is Cat's Eye by Margaret Atwood and this is for my friend Anna from Read to Me at Midnight's book club. She started a book club called the Briar Rose book club along with her friend B. I will leave a link to the Twitter page and Anna's announcement video for for the book club in the description and in the cards because she explains it better than I can but I think essentially the aim of the book club is going to be to focus on women's stories and experiences. This is their first month doing it and this is their first book and I just really wanted to take part because what I really like about book clubs is they sort of encourage me to pick up books that I might like literally never have picked up. The only Atwood that I've read is The Handmaid's Tale which I read at uni and really enjoyed but I've never like pushed myself to try out any of her other work before but when I saw Anna talking about the synopsis of this book in her video I was like that actually sounds like something that I would really enjoy. So I believe this book is about a woman looking back on her past and sort of considering the friendships, the fake friendships that she had when she was younger and how I think her friends were really, really nasty people and potentially like also her bullies. There's a quote on the back cover that says, I have to sit on a window ledge by myself because they aren't speaking to me. It's something I said wrong, but I don't know what it is because they won't tell me. 
all of this is for my own good because they are my best friends and they want to help me improve i just think i'm gonna really love this because that topic and that sort of feeling i feel like it's a feeling that a lot of people can relate to it's definitely something that i can relate to and i in general really like reading about stories of like school days and friendships basically all the themes that i think this book is going to cover also i think i'm going to have to try and get around to this one pretty early on in the month to make a start with it because it is quite big i thought it was going to be like maybe around the 300 page mark but it's actually 495 pages and the writing is fairly small so although the live shows at the end of the month i do think i need to like prioritize it otherwise i will end up putting it off forever the next book that i would like to read this month is promising young women by caroline o'donoghue this probably would have been better if i'd have read it in march for the irish readathon however i didn't own this book at that point i really wanted to it's been on my radar for a while i put it on one of my anticipated reads videos but i just didn't own it and then i saw it on depop for like a few pounds second hand and i was like oh i can't say no to that so i bought it and now that I have it, I want to get around to it as soon as possible. It's one that I've heard so many good things about, particularly from Leanne. And I just can't wait to see what I think. All that I know about this one is that it's about a woman who is feeling a bit adrift, doesn't really know what she's doing with her life. I think she's in her mid 20s or early 20s. It just says 20 something, so I'm not sure. But around my age, I'm gonna guess. And she basically starts a relationship with a married man and effectively becomes the other woman. I think this book is going to explore obviously that relationship i think power dynamic is going to be a big thing in this and also just that feeling of not knowing what you're doing in your early mid 20s which relatable can definitely relate to that i'm hoping that i'll really love this one so then i can also purchase caroline o'donoghue's other books which i've also heard are really good another one that i would really love to get to this month is the shelf by heli acton this is one that i bought really recently and featured in one of my recent hauls this one is a contemporary about a big brother style game show which features women who've basically been dumped live on tv and then they have to compete to not be left on the shelf ever since i bought this i've been really wanting to read it because i think i'm really going to enjoy it it's a little bit different to the sort of things that i normally read but i just love big brother and reality tv so much so i think i'm just gonna fall into this and fly through it but i just didn't find time in march to pick it up so i'm hoping that in april i will be able to it seems like the perfect sort of thing for like spring and the season that we're going into now so i'm hoping that we can get like a really nice week weekend like the sort of weather that we're having in england at the moment as i'm filming this and i can just like sit outside pretend i'm at the beach because i'm not going to be at the beach for a while let's face it and get through this one the next book that i would really like to read in april is people like her by ellery lord i would love to get around to this one in april because this one was sent to me about a month ago by kayla from all about the page and as i've said in a few videos now i'm really trying to get through the books that i purchase or i receive from any other means but like really soon after i have acquired them because i went through too many years of my life not doing that if you've seen my reaction to my first ever book haul from 2015 you'll know that i have only read like four or five out of 25 of the books in that haul so i'm really trying to be better at that and i have been being much better at that i've actually read a good portion of the books that i've bought this year already that makes it sound like a bit of a chore but it's really not going to be because i am also really excited for this one all that i know is that it's a thriller about a mommy blogger but that is enough to intrigue me and i've read maybe one thriller this year already but i don't really feel like i've read too much i've probably read fewer thrillers and mysteries this year so far than what i would normally have read over this period of time so i'm just looking forward to delving into another one and just mixing up my reading a bit because i've got a couple of contemporaries already a couple of like literary things so this should be a really nice alternative if i'm fancying something different and the final thing that i want to read in april that i haven't mentioned on my channel before is a spoiler for march's books that matter subscription box so if you get that i think you should have got the box through by now because it's literally right at the end of the month but if for whatever reason you haven't received your box and you don't want to know then skip ahead 30 seconds or so the book that i got in the march box i want to read in april and that is she will soar which is a collection of bright brave poems of freedom by women and it's compiled by anna sampson but there's poems from all different authors in here as i said i got this in my march books that matter subscription box and i'm basically trying to read the books that i get in that box the month after and i've been successful in the first few boxes that i've had i've read january's book and i've read february's book now so i just want to do 
the same in March. I think this one shouldn't really take too long, but I think I might try and spread it out, maybe like read a poem a day or a few poems a day, because I just find that if I sit down and read a poetry book, especially one by lots of different poets, then I don't really take them in because I'll just like fly through them so quickly and they don't really make as much of an impact. So I think this will be an ongoing one throughout the month and I'm looking forward to seeing what I think of them all. And the final two books that I would like to get to or at least read a bit of in April are these two massive books that I mention in every single flipping video that I film. I haven't read any of them. I have not read a single page of either of these books in March. So they're going on the April TBR. Will I do them? Who knows? But if I keep putting them on the TBRs, then they will have to get done eventually. So I'm really sorry if this time next year I featured it in every single video for an entire year. Hopefully not. The first is A Little Life by Hanya Yanigihara. I'm not gonna really say what any of these are because you must be absolutely fed up of me talking about them by now. But I am really looking forward to getting around to this one. It's just finding the time, not being overwhelmed, etc. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not feeling too optimistic about this one, to be honest. The one that I am feeling optimistic about, however, is The Eighth Life for Brilka by Nino Haritishvili. This is a Georgian book. It's almost a thousand pages long. I've read 90 something pages already. But I said in my March TBR that the audiobook came out in March. Within like a few hours of that video going up, I went to look for the audiobook and realized that it actually comes out in April. So I will be listening to some of it in April. I absolutely, definitely will. And then I can actually focus on doing my video that I'm meant to be doing all about this book. So those are the eight things that I would like to read in April. If you've read any of these books, I'd love to know your thoughts about them. So please let me know in the comments or just leave me an emoji to let me know that you've watched the video. Other than that though, that is it for today's video. I hope you're all keeping safe and staying well and have a wonderful April and I will see you again next time. Bye.